So we all know War Deer, Basque Legion, and Hisuian Braviary will be carrying us across the earth, sea, and skies of the Hisui region, but did you know there's a fourth ride Pokemon hidden in Legends Arceus? What is up everyone and welcome to another speculation video on of course Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're going to talk about that mysterious ride Pokemon that was leaked, not necessarily revealed officially, but it is most likely going to be making it into the final game, judging by the other things we saw. In these same leaks, we can see Hisuian Braviary as well as Wordeer, which definitely matches up with what the real Wordeer we know now looks like. We're going to break down who this mystery mon could be and possibly even more Hisuian forms coming to Legends Arceus, so if you guys are excited, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more Pokemon videos. And we're going to jump right into discussing who this curious critter in the middle could be. Obviously, it seems to be climbing a mountain and judging by the other two screenshots showing the other ride functions like Word Ear carrying you across the land and Braviary in the sky, I can only assume that this is going to be another ride Pokemon that could possibly help you climb the many mountains that we've seen throughout the Hisui region in the trailers. Many people on the internet have tried to guess what Pokemon this could be. My very first thought was that it looks like Grovile with the little leaf or whatever that thing growing out of its head is, but mainly seen people guessing it could be a new form for Nuzleaf. I can definitely see the similarities with the little leaf again growing out of its head there. And if it is a new Hisuian form of Nuzleaf, then it would obviously look a little different and possibly even have a whole new evolution that isn't Shiftry and therefore could look like what we see in the picture here. You know, Nuzleaf's little leaf just grows out into a whole vine. And it seems our friend Drake 95 had a similar idea with his Fakemon Samu Rambles here being a split evolution or a new evolution for Nuzleaf as a grass and fighting type. And I love the design for this thing with the vines coming out of its like forearm glove protector things as a grass and fighting type that is obviously inspired by like Samurai with the little helmet it's got going on there, but still definitely has inspiration from Shiftry, its original evolution. Uh, with the thing on its back there, which would assumedly carry the player inside of it. Because again, this image was leaked alongside two other ride Pokemon, so we have to assume this is another type of ride function, like I said, helping you climb the mountains. And I picture that little box on its back looking a little more similar to Nezuko's box in Demon Slayer, how Tanjiro carries his little sister around on that little box, which is based off Japanese lore, so it definitely fits the whole ancient aesthetic of the Hisui region. Now here's my favorite theory on what this mystery Pokemon could be. Hisuian Weavile as a rock and ice type. That design is just so badass. It's like, y'all ever heard of the Chupacabra? They would always scare us as kids in Puerto Rico, telling us the Chupacabra would come for you at night, which translates to goat sucker. It sounds stupid, but it was a really scary story because farmers would wake up with their goats and cows mutilated by this apparent cryptid monster known as Chupacabra. And I like to imagine this Weavile here is what it probably looked like. Ooh, I really like the shiny version as a callback to the original Weavile with the black color scheme and the thing coming out of its head actually makes a lot of sense because regular Weavile already has that like big feather or whatever that is coming out of it. So in its Hisuian form, it could actually grow into a longer, I don't know what to call it because it looks like a leaf, but it's not a grass type. So whatever the little ribbon coming out of its head you want to call that. I could totally see it belonging to a Hisuian Weavile, so Elite Four, shout out to this man. I've heard some people say it could potentially be a Hisuian B-Sharp, since it kind of has a similar body shape to it and Gallade, but of course we've already seen Gallade in the trailer, so there's no way it's that one, but it could maybe be a B-Sharp. I'm definitely leaning more towards the Nuzleaf evolution though, because then we could also see a new split evolution for Lombre and Lotad in Kappa O here. A new split evolution, kind of replacing Ludicolo, but you can never really get rid of Ludicolo. 
So literally the day after recording this video, we got a brand new trailer for Legends Arceus, which revealed one of the two leaked Pokemon, the big old golden boy with the choppy axes, is actually confirmed to be an evolution of Scyther of all Pokemon, and is going to be a bug and rock type Hisuian form evolution thing that is actually part of something called the Noble Pokemon. So even though we know exactly what this Pokemon is now, I still originally talked about some fan art that could possibly fit in with it and speculation, and it was kind of fun, the idea uh, that people came up with, so why not still show it off? I really like the Drake's take that it could be an evolution for Lombre as a kind of counterpart to the Hisuian Nuzleaf evolution that we just saw. This one would be Kappa O, and you can see it here, able to split its lily pad hat into scythe-like weapons. That just looks so cool and as a concept totally works. And the Drake's not the only one that apparently wants a Hisuian Lombre, because EJ Zornio here has even come up with a similar idea basing it off the Kappa, which is a Japanese yokai. You guys remember yokai watch, right? Those creatures in it are actually based off real life Japanese fairy tales. So the Kappa would be an awesome inspiration for a new Lombre, Lotad, and Ludi Kappa. <laughs> it ain't even Ludi Colo anymore, dude. That is so cool though. Or creepy if you stare into its eyes long enough. I wasn't going to talk about this until later in the video, but it seems that Drake has also drawn his own version of Hisuian Arcanine as a fire and rock type. Of course, we know Hisuian Growlithe is confirmed to be fire and rock, so most likely it would maintain that type combination when it evolves. But I love this rendition of it, the way the mane or beard kind of just flows down from it and it's holding on to this little rock that almost seems to be part of the clouds. I will say I'm not sure about the two horns on its head because Hisuian Growlithe, the whole thing about it is that its little horn can potentially break if it uses it too much. So I feel like Hisuian Arcanine would maybe just have one big horn, kind of like a unicorn. What, what the fuck is Arcanine? I was gonna say tiger, but according to Bulbapedia, it's more of a dog, so... Here's another idea for Hisuian Arcanine by Lewis Brain on DeviantArt where, like I mentioned, the horn is way more pronounced. It's actually kind of made of jade or some kind of glowing green rock. And it also happens to be holding one in its right front paw. What is up with that? Two artworks that have the same like idea of it standing on this little rock. I mean, dogs love playing fetch, right? You throw the ball, they go and get it for you. So maybe that's the idea behind Arcanine here. You can play fetch with it across Hisui. That rock looks kind of heavy though. I'm not sure our character would be able to throw that very far. But again, amazing job here to Lewis. And you can check out all of the artists featured in this video down in the description because they're the ones really putting in the work here. I'm just reacting and showing them off. But it is like amazing the concepts that people can come up with and how we all kind of at the end have similar ideas. For example, the horn and the ball. It can't be a coincidence, man. We got another artwork here by LS Tiva and again, Arcanine is holding a little ball in its front right paw, but this time it's like a fireball, which could make a little bit more sense. Reminds me of Toracat, which has this little bell looking thing on its neck, and apparently that's an organ that produces its flames, which is kind of interesting. Maybe this version of Hisuian Arcanine could be similar, producing its flames from the little ball it plays with, although we definitely see flames on its back legs too. That's actually really badass how the front legs have little rock fluffs coming out of it, but the back is fire and the horn is glowing bright red like it's charged with flaming energy. That is so cool actually. And one final Hisuian Arcanine concept by Kronik where again the horn is like the main drawing point. And I don't mean because it's a drawing, that's like the first thing you look at is maybe the goofy open mouth, but also the horn up there because again, Hisuian Growlithe, the whole thing is about its horn can potentially break. So I'm assuming as you grow and train it, its horn grows stronger. And I'd like to imagine that when it evolves, the horn just becomes bigger, but just like one big horn like we see here. All this talk of Hisuian Arcanine has got me wondering if we'll be able to ride it or any other Pokemon besides just Word Year which has of course been confirmed as a new evolution of Stantler or perhaps Hisuian Stantler that's 
yet to be seen, but it's also fun to speculate. Like, will we actually get a Hisuian Stantler, or is it just gonna be regular Stantler? If you look at him side by side, the change from Cubone to Fire Ghost Marowak is way more drastic than regular Stantler to Wordier would be, so I'm kind of leaning towards the side that we're not getting a Hisuian Stantler, and instead it's just regular Stantler that evolve in Hisui into the God Deer that is Wordier. Can't say the same for Hisuian Rufflet though, as I've seen many fans drawing what that could potentially look like, so first by Fatmon on DeviantArt. Awesome name right there, dude, but even more awesome artwork of Rufflet just looking absolutely livid like you ate my berries I'm gonna make you see something son you don't know the things I've seen or alternatively a much more cute variation here by Pablo <laughs> we got Hisuian Rufflet just absolutely chillin it looks so freaking cute man like imagine a plushie of this thing it just so squeezable and I hope Hisuian Rufflet is a thing now if not just to get the little plushie of it to hug is so adorable. Again, the site just says when Rufflet in the Hisui region evolve, so it's not clear if they're Hisuian Rufflets or not. And I could honestly see either, like the regular base form of Rufflet still looks like it might evolve into the psychic version. But come on, we gotta get that cute little Hisuian Rufflet, if not just so that there's potentially plushes of it in the future for me to hug. Oh, yo, this is some new stuff right here. Hisuian Torterra? As a grass and fairy type, that is so cool, the way it looks so sage-like and got the cherry blossom tree on top, which again, the whole Hisui region being based off like ancient Japan, cherry blossoms are still huge over in Japan, so I would love to see a cherry blossom Pokemon. Hisuian Infernape as a fire ice type, that is so dope, dude, definitely unlike a lot of the other Mega Infernape or like Infernape forms that I've seen before, this one's a little chunkier and Definitely fits the ice type being more fluffy. And of course, Hisuian and Polion. Oh man, I love the design on the like fins and belly there. I'm guessing it's just based off like a Japanese emperor since it is the emperor penguin Pokemon. So all three of those look absolutely badass, but maybe topped by this new Lucario evolution? Ryukario Strong Style and Ryukario Agile Style. Fighting Ghost and Fighting Dragon. Yo, Fighting Dragon. That'd be so sick, dude. I really like this design and everything for it. Of course, we know Lucario is like one of the main Pokemon for Legends Arceus. It'd be cool if Lucario did get a new Hisui exclusive evolution. I guess they might have a tough time explaining why Lucario doesn't evolve into that anymore, but maybe it's just like back in the past, there was some kind of special stone or maybe this big club that it's using doesn't exist anymore, so it can't evolve. I don't know. Pokemon has definitely made up some bullsh <laughs> explanations for evolutions before, so I'm sure they can come up with something because this would be awesome to have in the game. So, I wanted to jump in from the future once again to talk about Arezu, one of the Wardens revealed in the latest trailer for Legends Arceus, and on the website we get a little bit more information about her, and apparently her being tasked with the care of a certain lady Pokemon. Now we know each of the Wardens are assigned to a specific noble and sometimes ride Pokemon like this dude is for Basculin. And of course, Clay's little ancestor is in charge of Cleavor, the Scyther evolution. So it's fair to assume that Arezu will also be in charge of a new Hisuian form. And I wanted to speculate on who that could be since many of you in the comments seem to think it is gonna be a new form of Jinx. I certainly can't think of any Pokemon more ladylike than Jinx. And honestly, it would be pretty good since Magmar and Electabuzz both got new evolutions in Sinnoh, and Mr. Mime even got a Galarian form plus the evolution Mr. Mime in Galar. So I think it's about time Jinx got some love and maybe fixed that hideous design. Maybe Smoochum can stay the way it is, but evolve into something different in Hisui, give it an entirely new look. Online, all I seem to find are Hololin forms. I mean, this Galarian style isn't too bad. Dude, I, I just don't like Jinx, okay? I'm sorry, but I would much rather Arezu get a new evolution for Frostlass or I guess a new Hisuian form for it. Even though, again, it was originally from Sinnoh, I guess maybe in the past, 
Frostlass could have looked a little different since it's also based on a Japanese yokai known as the Yuki Ona or Snow Woman, who would appear in icy mountains and kill men. I can't really think of anything more ladylike. And last but not least, we've got Basque Legion, which we know is the ride Pokemon of the ocean. But again, I'm really hoping there's multiple Pokemon we can ride on. Like in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, there was like 30 ride Pokemon, Earth, Sea, and Sky. Well, you couldn't ride like every flying type, but you know, there was multiple ones that you could ride on their back. And even though riding on Basque Legion looks awesome, I would love if you could like ride on Gyarados too, which we've seen in the trailer. But we're talking about Hisuian form, so let's stick to the main question I've seen around Basque Legion, and that is whether it'll also have a blue stripe form like its pre-evolution. And here's actually an idea of what that could look like by Clap Your Hands 59 on Reddit, where we see the blue Basque Legion. I mean, it's pretty easy to imagine what a blue Basque Legion would look like, just color swap the red one, but its eyes are slightly different here as well as just its whole vibe. Like when you look at the blue one's face, you get a totally different idea of what it could be thinking than when you look at red over here, just ready to take a bite out of anything. Now, according to the Pokedex, red and blue Basculin usually don't get along, but sometimes members of one school will mingle with others. So it could be possible that when they evolve into Basculegion, there's only the red form of them, since we know it absorbs the souls of dead Basculin, so maybe it doesn't discriminate. Red or blue stripes, you can all be part of the Basque Legion hive mind. And that is exactly what this amazing little comic strip by Taplaus here shows off. Made even better by this little image of a man feeding his fish. Don't mind me just feeding my fish, the souls of the dead. <laughs> but my favorite interpretation of how Basque Legion even exists is this. <laughs> Two fish in a trench coat. You can tell Blue Basculin is the mastermind, and this guy is just along for the ride, like hoping he doesn't get caught. <laughs> so as always, huge shout out to all of the artists featured in this video. You can find their links in the description. Give him a follow. Artists are great people. I was once a struggling artist in high school, and if it wasn't for getting lucky on YouTube, I would probably be doing art to this very day. So I just want to know, I appreciate you guys very much. And uh, I hope you're not too mad about me using your stuff in my videos because I know it can be a little bit weird, but I just want to show off the awesome art while talking about my own ideas and stuff. So check him out. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know which ride Pokemon you would like to see in Legends Arceus or which Hisuian form, which Pokemon you want the most to get a Hisuian form. I will likely be doing a video on that topic alone in the future, just like my top 10 picks for Hisuian forms. So subscribe if you haven't to stay tuned for that and all of my other videos, and I will catch you then.